Hi Banana Munchers, it's Q&A Friday today and today's question is from Shadows Kink. I just had it up, where did it go? Hang on a second. Yeah, Shadows Kink and they are wanting to know what my view on soy products like soy milk and tofu etc are. Well, they're not an optimal food but they are much much better than dairy products and pussy dairy products. So. If you've got an option between the two, my God, you've always got to take soy and tofu. Because soy and tofu, you know, non-GMO soy and tofu, have been eaten for thousands of years by some of the longest lived Asian cultures. So they're definitely, definitely, you know, fine. A lot of time these days, they put soy in all sorts of things like hot dogs and burger patties and all that sort of thing. They get, people get sick and then they blame the soy instead of the putrefying, decomposing flesh. And soy also gets a bad rap from the meat and dairy industry. You know, like a lot of these studies that are put out are put out by, are funded by the meat and dairy industry. And another thing, these studies are done on GMO soy, all right? Genetically modified organisms soy, which of course you don't want to eat. You know, that some humans been tampering around with that. You're always going to be better off having something like banana milk. So bananas and water, pulse blended. Now, banana milk is great. You know, if you want to put it on your cereal, if you're still eating cereal, just put banana and water and pulse. Pulse the button. And the reason we do the pulse is because it oxidizes less. I mean, other options to soy milk are like rice milk or, you know, you can do almond milk or something like that. And soy also can be fairly fatty as well. But I don't want to demonize the soy. I see there's this big, you know, soy, evil soy, must kill soy sort of movement going on. It's not the evil demon that it's made out to be. So it's all about getting quality organic soy. You know, you don't want this GMO bullshit because that is not going to be healthy, obviously. I would not worry too much about having some tofu here and there, but I recommend getting the carbs up. You know, if you increase your carbohydrates enough, you're not going to feel like any tofu. You're not going to feel like soy. You're not going to feel like anything like that. You're not going to feel like dairy, meat, all of that business. You're just going to be free of those cravings because you're carved up. You know, you've got the sugar to the brain. And that is what the key is, getting the sugar to the brain so the brain does not want anything else. Have them if you must, but don't have GMO. Make sure they're organic. And remember that they're not the most optimal food, but they're not some evil demon that the meat and dairy industry has tried to make out that they are. If you have more questions, leave them below and I'll get back to them next week. All right. Have a great day and night, whatever you're doing, and I'll see you soon for recipe day.